हेलो सो हेलो एवरीवन एंड टुडे अगेन आई हैव अ स्टार फ्रॉम टीबीएमसीआई हु हैज अटेंड अ अमेजिंग रैंक ऑफ 145 एंड नॉट ओनली दिस देयर इज अ अमेजिंग अमेजिंग इंप्रूवमेंट फ्रॉम 11k टू 7.5k टू दिस अमेजिंग थ्री डिजिट स्कोर ऑफ 145 इन द रीसेंट एनसेट एग्जामिनेशन सो हार्टीस्ट कंग्रेचुलेशंस डॉक्टर अभिजीत थैंक यू सो मच मैम so i was listening to you and your amazing journey from you know such a draw from and that too in a, such a short time like may may you were having 11k and then in neat pg 2024 you were having 7500 so how did you manage this amazing improvement in your score uh ma'am i think the only revision to any entrance exam is two things those are the two important pillars ma'am i think one is previous year topics because they are always the gold standard mm. we can't argue with anyone that previous year topics nahi aata and the second thing ma'am i think is revision because yeah i think the only thing lacking my preparation in may as well as for the august neat pg was that i, I did not revise well, ma'am and i got quite a few easy questions wrong and i decided to whatever happens i won't make any silly mistakes in the inct in the november ma'am because mm. that was my only goal i did not know ki i will get a rank or will i perform well or what will happen to me but my only goal was ki you don't have to make silly mistakes फैकल्टी मैम आई थिंक Boarding subject of anatomy, which is only a routine subject, into a conceptual subject, ma'am. Yeah. I think so. He try to introduce concepts in such a way that you don't have to remember his anatomy. You have to mm -hmm. try to understand it and see why what is happening and why is it happening, ma'am. Mm hmm. And ma'am, you obviously you Nina Agarwal, ma'am. You are like my ophthalmology guide, ma'am, because I am pretty decent at ophthalmology. I can do normal, the general and the basic things, all right. But my retina, neuro, and squint were quite lacking, and neat, and neat. It's fine for neat PG, but INCT focuses on these three topics, and I knew that I have to perfect them before the INCT exam. And then one Thamim sir, sir, he is like such a great and great teacher. He has been teaching since for the past twenty-five years, and he knows that from medicine you have to do this, you have to do this, you have to do this. That's it. And so I followed him for few systems, man, because yeah. whichever system I felt I was lacking in. Yeah. Abdul Nasir sir, man, he makes microbiology very simple. He does mnemonics and his tricks, man. And I think so. Microbiology is the entire subject where you have to make tricks for yourself. Yes. And even the day before the ILS city, I just looked at all the culture media and the names and a few missing topics in microbiology, which Abdul sir has been made it really easy. And sir, uh, Rajiv sir, sir, yeah, uh, well, he is like such a so light-hearted and so funny man that I enjoy them a lot. And I never felt that PSM could a subject like PSM could be made so interesting. Yes. Yes. Is yes. right. So uh, when you have done all the classes, how did T N D helped you? Ma'am, I had done that. I, I had started T N D in the final MBBS, ma'am. Because till then I had done one reading of almost all fourteen important subjects. I skipped the uh, short subjects, and I felt that now I have to just cons consolidate all this material because I had a lot of material. I I had been reading from books as well as notes and doing videos. So I felt that let's just do one cycle. And see how much can I condense my information and what is all is necessary. And so T N D ma'am it helped me to strategize myself. So in my final MBBS I just did one T N D and completed through and through ma'am. I it did not matter ki just say like in prof exams you know that psychiatry say questions won't come and then from dermat only one question will come. But still ma'am I gave my time to dermat psychiatry and all those subjects and I just did that T N D ma'am thinking ki at least let's try to do because if everyone is saying then why who am I to say it won't work. And ma'am, it tremendously helped me because after one cycle of T N D, ma'am, I knew that I can start my revision and after just condense my knowledge and polish myself. Right. Yeah. So, any special mentions in the T N D classes you want to mention? Any faculty? Uh, ma'am, you definitely you, ma'am. And for Ashwini sir, uh, was also pretty good in T N D, ma'am. And for Thamim sir, sir, because I could not see all the medicine videos. What I did was I attended all the previous T N Ds also, which were available on the app, ma'am. So that way I knew that at least all the important topics of all the units have been covered. And I went doing only that much to the I N S T exam. And medicine is pretty chill in I N S T, I guess, ma'am. 
Yes. Not as much as in need, but for INSET, it's okay, and you can solve it with your knowledge also, which you acquire. And uh, Ma'am Abdul Nasir says because microbiology is such a subject where for each and every bacteria you can do, you can keep on doing it, and it won't ever end. So I felt that I have to condense my microbiology knowledge. Before the exam, I created a ten-page book for microbiology because I was lacking a lot in microbiology, which I noticed from my GTs and all. So mm-hmm. I created a ten-page book, and I just followed that book till the last day of the exam. I thought, "Kiske bahar aega to India mein koi nahi kar paega," because that's how well Abdul Nasir sir has covered everything. Uh, uh. Uh, yes, ma'am. And uh, Rajat Jain sir, ma'am, I do not do his P and Ds well, but I attended all his PYQ sessions, which are available on YouTube. Because uh, we don't we actually skip a lot on radiology, ma'am. And if any question from general radiology, general radiology appears in exam, then I go blank, ma'am, because. I'm lacking in radiology as well. So Rajat Jain's all the videos available on YouTube. Yeah. Uh, I have been watching them two days prior to the NSET exam. All right. Yeah. Yes. Sir. Okay. So how did you like the one shot videos? Have you watched all the videos? Ma'am, I used to not seriously watch one shot, but I used to always. Ha- I have watched all of them, but I used to have my phone in my pocket and I used to have one ear for my ear. And anytime I'm traveling from my hostel room to the library, or from library to the mess, if I'm sitting in the mess, ma'am, then I will just. I have my one eye on that videos because those videos condense the entire subject in four hours, three and a half, four hours, ma'am. Mm-hmm. And it helps you. Like all this passing knowledge, somewhere or other comes and helps you in the exam. And it helps in such ways that you can't even imagine, ma'am. Because in in exam you might think, "Yeh question to nahi aata mujhe," but somewhere in the subconscious, all the answers are hidden, ma'am. And you just bring it out from there. Okay, right. Yeah. So how often you used to appear in the grand test, Abhijit? Uh, ma'am, I used to appear since the final MBBS every one to two months. And in internship, ma'am, every month I used to give one grant test. And all over the free grant test which I could find on other apps, I used to give that too, ma'am. Okay. And I think I made one more mistake before my NEET PG that I appeared in less grant tests, ma'am. So or... what I did, so after NEET PG, ma'am, I just gave a grant test every three days, and I used to review them on the same day itself because. Till then, my corrects were around one fifty, one fifty, one sixty, ma'am. So, reviewing the wrong questions was not really time consuming, and the correct questions I should, I should just go and look, look through to them, ma'am. Mm-hmm. And so I, we was giving all the grand tests, and I used to uh, also supplement them with previous year questions, ma'am. Like I used to have the AIMS ka paper since two thousand sixteen, ma'am, and I used to solve the paper one paper every five days. Okay. All right. So, do you think that it is advisable to start giving the grand test as early as possible? Yes, ma'am. Definitely, grand tests aren't there to judge you or just say you like. You don't go here rank on one. And I will be honest with you, ma'am. I've never scored such great rank in any grand test of mine. Grand tests are just there to show you what are your lacunae and where you have to improve yourself. Because I remember in one grand test, ma'am, which I was given for INICT, there were two questions asked on monoclonal antibodies, and my attitude towards monoclonal antibodies always was that I am not going to do that. A question will come. I leave that question. But uh, in a grand test, ma'am, three questions came from there. I felt that if everyone is asking and if the people at Eagle Group are like, giving this question, then there should be a reason I should do it. Mm-hmm. So I remember I just sat down on twenty seventh October uh, last month, and I did from four pm till night two am. I just did all the monoclonal antibodies, all the new drugs, all the checkpoint inhibitors, and all the immune suppressors. And hopefully, and thankfully, ma'am, in this INICT, four questions came from the topic. And I think if I would have skipped those four questions, ma'am, then my rank wouldn't be uh, one. This the rank that I scored, and I wouldn't have got my medicine seat, ma'am. Oh wow! So. <laughs> <laughs> Amazing thing, right? And you did very right because there there were so many questions in grand test. So obviously, it was an important topic. Yeah. Right. So Abhijit, I yes, think. Yes, ma'am. You have that, uh, set an example of amazing, amazing, uh, you know, score improvement by your hard work mm-hmm. and consistency. You were saying something, Abhijit? Yes. No, uh, nothing. Yeah. So, uh, I really want to take this opportunity in front of the mm-hmm. students who actually are set back by their low ranks. Maybe this time mm-hmm. also they have not achieved a rank they had expected. We should never mm-hmm. level. Lose hope. If you would have loosened your hope after eleven k, then you must not have got this one forty five rank today. So you have set a very very good example for all of yes. these students, right? Yes, ma'am, definitely, ma'am. And I come from a private college in the periphery in Maharashtra, ma'am. Yeah. And I want just want to say all the private students that even we can do it. I mean, I remember since first year, because it was put in our mind that you're from private college, hmm. you'll get a seat in a private college, or maximum you can go to a government. That's it. Hmm. Nothing more than that. 
Hmm. But I think, ma'am, that but you have student... break all the you know stereotypes. Yes, thank you, ma'am. Yeah, hmm. so um, amazing thing. We wish yes. you all the very best for your future endeavors and heartiest congratulations from whole of the team DBMCI. Thank you so much, ma'am. All the best. God bless you. Thank you, ma'am.